I must be absolutely pissing mental. Well, I said I was gonna go fishing today. The weather didn't look like it was gonna be this bad, but it is, it's piddling with rain. It's blowing a hooligan, but I'm going pike fishing. I sort of set today aside. It's the only day off I've got for a little while. I have brought out the big guns. I've got the Mojo Muskie and we've got big lures. Today we're gonna to be chucking big stuff. Their likelihood is we're gonna catch absolutely nothing, but we're gonna give it a go. Uh, it's a lake I've not fished on lures ever. I fished it on bait a long time ago. We're gonna give it a go on lures. Spins a few jacks being caught and things like that. But sometimes chucking a big lure around can uh, tempt one of those lazy, big old, you know, maybe doubles, maybe a 20. We'll have to see how we go. Uh, they're certainly in there. It's always got history of doing a, the odd big pike or two. Uh, we're gonna give it a go. It's better than sitting at home. Uh, I've got the wet weather gear on, so I'm not that worried about getting wet. Um, am I going to chuck that big replicant that was in the thumbnail that got you all here? Probably not. I'm going to give it a go for a little while, but I'm absolutely terrified of losing it, and it's heavy, and it's big, and actually, my rod's not really up to, ca to casting it, even though this isn't up to, I think the top end is 220 something grams, whatever it is. Well, it's in ounces, it's three to eight ounce casting weight, so it's a big twig, but... Um, not really up to casting that big rep. I might get a bit of a little underhand, sw underhand swing just to see if it does, um, but it's more built for trolling. But it got you here. So I am going to chuck in big lures, maybe not that quite quite that big. We'll give it a go anyway. Let's go. Okay, we're going to be starting with the 24 centimeter ball tees, rigged shallow on the uh, Sacroix Mojo Muskie. My old school beast of a reel. Revo Toro winch and uh, I think that's J braid. I can't remember exactly what the uh, breaking strain is, but heavy. We'll give it a go. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Hammered it. <laughs> I knew there was one there. I kept seeing the old silverfish. Jump. This isn't big. Oh, they hit so much harder on these bigger lures. Not in that. Yeah. There you go, only a little jack, but it's a good start. I've not been fishing long, um, and it proves the theory works. It's so angry. These little jacks tend to be so much more angry than the bigger, bigger ones for some reason. Small, small fish complex, something like that. Um, very fat, very full up, which is a good sign. It's feeding, they're feeding. I've seen loads of sign out in front of me, so I'm going to slip back, and uh, big lures are working. Let's hope we can get one that sort of justifies that big rod and big lure, but this is a great start. Well, that is a great start. We've not been fishing long. Um, and what's nice is they're actively feeding. I'm seeing signs of fish feeding. So I'm seeing signs like little silverfish splatter. And splatter? Splatter's probably not the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, scatter is what I'm looking to say. And uh, here's another one straight out in front of me. Hopefully got that on the GoPro. Um, there's plenty of sign, which is good. Because very often, especially with these big lures, it can be very hit or miss. Um, but when they do hit, God, even that little one, nearly ripped the rod out of my hand. So much fun. I am fishing these a little bit quicker than I might do usually, mainly because it's so shallow. Uh, I haven't got time to, or haven't got the depth of water to let them sink and uh, fish them slow. Okay, they can only be maybe four foot, five foot out in front of me. Um, so I just fish it quite quick over the top of their heads. Which is, again, it's polarising, it's one of those things, they're either on or they're not. And if they're on, and you can activate them by buzzing something over their head, that can really be effective on certain days. It worked for that little jack, so I just need to find its mum. I hope she's in a feeding mood as well. Okay, I'm nothing if not a crowd pleaser, and let's be honest, you all came here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to see me fish this. 
this ridiculously large giant fox rep. Am I scared of losing it? Yes. Uh, is it going to possibly make me, my wife and my three children homeless if I lose it? Yes. But all for the price of uh, entertainment, I'm going to chuck it and we're going to fish for it and we're going to see if we can catch something on it. Might it blow up my rod? Yes. I Am I going to be a bit careful? Probably. But let's give it a go. I'm all about being serious and we're being serious here. We're going to fish this and we're going to catch fish. Here we go. Okay, I think we can all agree. I've given it a fair go. Didn't work. On to the next lure. Okay, it's very bright. Not exactly fantastic pike fishing conditions, but we've had one. Um, I'm not going to give it much longer. I'd only intended on doing a couple of hours, and I'm sort of creeping up towards that now. Uh, just to take a quick second while I'm resting my arm, chucking these big lures, uh, to give you a brief run over of what I've been using. So, I have got the St. Croix Mojo Muskie. Uh, it's eight foot six, one piece, uh, three to eight ounce. This is a bit overgun for the fish we're fishing for today, but it's not for the lures we're using, and that's the most important thing. Uh, you need something that can really cast those big lures. Um, all right, these aren't the really big ones that I may have seen. You may have seen in the thumbnail, but you get the idea. And this is really, I'm just getting some practice with it. This is going to be my reservoir stick, so uh, I'm just giving it a bit of a run out, getting my arms around it, seeing how I like it. Then I've got an old school, which I don't think they even sell anymore, Abo. Abu Garcia Revo Toro Winch. This thing's an absolute creature. I've done all sorts of horrible things with this, taking it out on boats, saltwater fishing for taupe, uh, smooth hound. Um, even done some conger fishing with this once, uh, but it's got a drag of 27 pounds, which is an incredible um, amount of power for, for quite a small, low profile reel. Uh, but that's why I want to use it when I'm fishing for pike. I want absolute locked up i don't want the drag to be slippy and i don't want nothing i want that to be locked up uh, any line i'm going to give is just uh, by releasing the spool then i have a thick braid uh and that's thick with three c's she <laughs> 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 are you saying she's thick no 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 she's past thick she's thick <laughs> and i think this is the diwa j braid I can't remember what it is. I've had it on there for quite a while now. 80 something pound, I think. Um, through to an FG knot to a 1.2 mil fluorocarbon trace. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but I've FG knotted it on. Fluorocarbon trace, 1.2 mil. Um, crib to a clip and then the baits. So a selection of the baits I'm using. Gunky G bump, I think, or Gunzilla. I can't remember which one's which. Uh, Westin Bull Tees in 24 centimetres, I think. Westin Shad, shad Tees Slim, I think, or maybe just Shad Tees, I'm not sure. Another long one, I think that's also 24 mil or maybe 22. I can't remember. 22 mil, 22 centimetres, 24 centimetres. Um, but you get an idea, they're big baits. Um, it's not the sort of thing I'd, I chuck loads of, but I do enjoy doing it occasionally. And uh, like you saw earlier, even that little jack, when they do hit it, they really whack it. I have a theory behind this, and someone did tell me this, and I can't remember who it was. So if you know who you are, credit to you. I can't think what it was. When you fish your small baits for pike, sometimes you don't really feel the bite. It's very mushy. It's just like, ugh, they're just there. But when you fish a big, big bait and you get a hit from a pike, it's whack. And I'm sure it's because they know they have to put false behind killing something big. Something small, they know they can just swallow. There's no real urgency to it. But they have to kill something if it's big. So with a big bait, you get those really hard wallops. Uh, and that's my theory behind it. Well, it's not my theory. Someone told me, but I agree with that theory. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. That's what I'm using. I'm going to keep walking, maybe get back to where I started, where I had that fish even, have a few casts there, and then call it a day.
Yes! Oh, this feels like a better fish. Oh, it's come off. Oh. All that walking. Oh, gutted. Gutted. Felt like a much better fish. Oh. Oh. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm trying to hold back from saying what I should, what I actually want to say. I am gutted. Um, I've near enough done a full lap of the of the lake, and it's a funny old lake. It's got in and out, so there's a lot of walking, <sighs> and that was a, that was quite a good fish. It hit hard. It held. It just felt heavy, and it come off. I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. Um, right, okay, pull myself back together, keep trying, see if we can find another one out to swim. Proper pissed off. Okay, that's it, I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day there. Could I stay and grind out another fish? Probably, yeah. Um, do I want to? Not really. Um, do I feel like it'd be worth it? Probably not. Uh, it's so bright, it's still very cold, it's not ideal conditions. Uh, I've got plenty of other times I can go fishing and catch, uh, catch a few jacks. But have I enjoyed myself? I have, I really have. Um, chucking these big lures, like I said, it's not something I do very often. It's not something my shoulder would take very often, but I do enjoy it when I do it. Um, but I'm gonna call it a day early. I've only been fishing for a few hours. One fish and a couple of lost ones. We won't talk about that one I lost earlier. I'm still a little bit sore about it. And uh, yeah, call it a day early. Go and spend some time with my missus who barely ever sees me because I'm always at work. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you like this. Try and do as many videos as possible, but I know I'm a little bit slow. Uh, give me a kick up the arse if I haven't uploaded for a while, if you want to see more. Cheers guys, ta -da.